How's it going you guys? It's Scott with Everyday Home Repairs and today I want to show you some testing I'm doing on the EcoFlow River Pro portable power unit. Now I purchased this unit on Amazon for use at the job site to power up our battery packs, also on camping trips, but a main use case is also a battery backup for my sump pump. The two main questions I want to confirm it can actually run my sump pump, it can provide the power needed to run the sump pump, and two, if it does provide the power needed, how long would this battery last if the power stayed off? So I'll run you through how I did the calculations. You do have to do a little math to make sure that this portable power unit or any other portable power unit is right for your application. So that's whether you're using a sump pump, powering a refrigerator, or anything else you wanna plug into a portable power unit. How do you estimate how long that will last and if it's the right fit? So first we'll go over the calculations, then I'll show you a little bit more then I'll show you some of the features of this EcoFlow River Pro. And lastly, we'll do some testing. We'll plug it in the sump pump and we'll run it for hours and hours and hours and hours to see how long does it actually last and is it a good backup solution. So let's jump into the calculations and we'll get an estimate on how long the battery will last, which we will then validate later in the video. So running through the numbers, you're gonna need the specifications both of your portable power unit. Here is that EcoFlow River Pro 720 watt hour unit. And then also whatever you're looking to power. Here it's the Zoller M98 sump pump. We know the capacity of our battery at 720 watt hours. Continuous power it can deliver 600 watts and it can go up to a surge of 1200 or even a little bit above because of a boost feature that the River Pro has. Now the sump pump runs off 120 and from its specifications, it says it has a minimum amperage draw of 4.7 amps and a maximum of 9.4 amps. Now that amperage changes depending on how far vertically it needs to push the water out of your basement or out of the hole. For me, it's gonna push it up about eight foot. And for this Zoller, it was saying 23 feet is its maximum. So I know I'm not gonna be even close to approaching the 9.4 amps. Now, if I look at the power consumption, remember the first question is this portable power unit, can it provide enough power? So I converted the minimum into watts, taking 120 volts times the 4.7 amps, converted that into watts, so that's 564 on our low side, and then converted the max over, and that's 1128 on the high side. Now, if I had to estimate my consumption, I would say it's going to be about 800 watts. Again, I'm not using the full capability of this pump, so I'm estimating about 800 watts. Now, that is going to be above the continuous rating, but with the surge, that should be able to handle it. So that's where I was confident that this model of portable power unit could actually power from a power needs, uh, could power that sump pump. Then the question is how long will it last? So you need a few other things for this. If this was something you're plugging into the portable power unit that pulls 800 watts and it pulls it all the time, it's continuously running, then pretty easy. All you would do is you'd take the 720 divided by 800 and you'd see, okay, that's gonna power it for less than one hour. So if that sump pump was running all the time, it would power it for less than one hour, but that's not how sump pumps work. So we need to look at a few other factors. One, how long does the sump pump usually run to go from the high water mark where it turns on to the low water mark where it turns off? Mine runs about 10 seconds. How frequent does it run? Now, right now I'm in the springtime, it's running pretty frequently, we're getting some rain. So I'm getting about 20 cycles per hour. So that means per hour, my sump pump is gonna run for 200 seconds, 200 seconds per hour, or it's gonna run 0 0.056 hours. So taking that fraction, I know how much power it's gonna consume, I know how long it's gonna run per hour, so that's gonna be every hour, the sump pump is gonna consume 44.4 watt hours of that battery. So that's where I'm gonna get my final hours by taking 720 watt hours, the capacity of that battery, divided by my need, which is 44.4, .4, 
So I am estimating that this portable power unit could power my sump pump for 16.2 hours when it runs 20 times per hour for a 10 second duration. Now again, you can take this exact same approach and fit it to your needs. Figure out how long your sump pump runs, figure out the specs on your sump pump, and then how frequently is it running. But for me, I'm thinking about 16.2 hours, but again, we're gonna validate that. So taking a closer look at the EcoFlow River Pro, let's look at the input side. So here is where you're gonna be charging your unit. So you have your standard 120. You do have a breaker here. You have a screw to bond if you wanted to ground your unit. And then an input if you're doing solar panels, you can actually charge this off of a solar grid. Then on this other side, you can turn on and off your AC. You have three different plugs. You have a cooling fan up top. And then down here, you actually have an expansion slot. So you can daisy chain an additional expansion battery into this unit to give you more capacity. Now off the front, you do have a light on the side for convenience, different settings, flashing mode. You have a USB-C that goes up to 100 watts. So for instance, if you had a MacBook, you could plug it right in and this is gonna be able to charge it at the fastest speed two standard USB-A's and then a fast charging. Then you have a DC, like a cigarette lighter here with a few additional ports as well. The dial here is your overall battery charge. And then you have input if you're charging, how many watts is coming in and output, how many watts is going out. Additionally, there'll be an estimation on how long the battery will last and that is based off of the output, how many watts you're drawing. So we'll just do a little test here. We'll plug in an iPhone. Now the iPhone's almost fully charged, so it's not gonna pull much, maybe four or five watts. And then you can see the time will change as the output fluctuates. Also from that same iPhone, I'll show you there is an app so there's an app, you can control the light from here. You can see what your battery level is. So we see 70%. We can see our estimation here of how long that's gonna last. And again, the same input output displays. Then it does give you an overall graph over time. If you've run this for a while, you'll see what your overall output has been over a duration of time. You can switch between input and output super handy if you had solar feeding in you can see what that input wattage has been from your solar array overall sometimes these apps are pretty bad but, but i do have to give it to ecoflow so far this has been really stable and a super handy app to monitor this unit remotely because it is connected to wi-fi so now let's jump in and plug this into the sump pump and see how long will it actually last running my sump pump. So not much to the setup. You just get your EcoFlow unit close to your sump pump. Make sure it is powered on. Plug in your sump pump into one of the three outputs and then make sure you turn the AC section on. Once that's set up, now your sump pump should have power. Now this is the first cycle and you can see the output watts goes all the way to the max of 600 during the pump and cycle. And now I'll just let it sit. So this is actually sped up about a hundred times normal speed. So you see that check valve just flap in there because it's running every two to three minutes. I'm gonna let it run for at least five hours and see how much of the percentage charge it draws from this portable power unit, and also check throughout to make sure the frequency and duration of the cycles are consistent. So the unit's continuing to run, and I have been monitoring to make sure the frequency of the cycles are staying the same, and we did. We kind of stayed between that two and a half to three minutes between cycles. And I do understand that's very frequent for a sump pump, we're in the springtime here, our water table is high, and it's actually raining outside. But it was a great test. I wanted to really exercise the EcoFlow unit, and with this frequency, I think it's held up 
awesome. So our original estimation was that this unit could power for 16.2 hours at the duration and frequency I was seeing for my sump pump. Looking at the battery drain over time, and I've ran over six hours now, doing that calculation out, it actually is gonna end up being 17.6 hours run time, which is pretty close to our original estimate, and I think pretty darn impressive for this unit. So my initial impressions from having this unit a few days, obviously not being able to own it for a year or years and tell you my experience, but I think this is a great unit depending on what your use cases are. Again, I'm gonna use this at a job site, camping trips, and also when I go on vacation, I'm gonna use one of the features of this EcoFlow, which is as, as a UPS or an uninterrupted power supply. So I'll plug this unit into the outlet and then plug the sump pump into the EcoFlow. If everything's good and we have power, the, then the sump pump gets powered by the outlet itself. But if power were to go out, that battery is in there to take over and to power the sump pump until the power comes back on. These units are not cheap and I did purchase this unit. It was not given to me. It's not sponsored by EcoFlow. So I paid about $575 on Amazon, got it in a couple days, but at least for my use case, I think it's worth it. So let me know what you guys think and you'll find this and all the other tools and supplies that we recommend for homeowners and DIYers in our Amazon store. You can go over there if you need any tools or you wanna pick up this EcoFlow, use our link and it does help the channel as we do get a small commission with no extra charge to you. So I do appreciate that support. Now, if swapping out a sump pump is a project in your future, you can check out this video right here and I'll walk you through the full step-by-step -step process I went through to get this Zoller M98 installed in the pit behind me. So thanks for joining me on this video and we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.